Hello everybody, it's the Farm Sim Guy here. Hope you're all doing well. And just before we jump into this episode of Purbeck Valley, a couple of shout outs. First and foremost, are you looking for a farming simulated Discord server which you'll share with like-minded people? Well, Foxtrot Ranch is the place to be. They've got great staff dedicated to help any time of the day, no matter what is needed. They also have their very own dedicated farming sim server for the community to play on. So go check them out, join the server, get involved with a great community of guys. I put the link here and I'll also put it in the description down below, but yeah, join the server. Great bunch of guys. And secondly, a big shout out to uh, one of my followers uh, and a really great guy, Farmer Sim. He's got a great channel. He's looking to uh, build it up a little bit. So feel free to drop by if you're not subscribed already to him, give him a sub, give him a like on some of his vids. He does some great content. And without further ado, let's jump into Purbeck Valley. Welcome back to Purbeck guys. As you may have seen in the intro there, I was just finishing off the soybeans in this field. Uh, we'd finished the oats in the last episode, but we'd played a little bit off camera just to uh, get things going. Okay, I managed to get my head at caught on the trailer trying to turn in tightly there. But because this is the lizard one and the header folds into the... the header trailer folds into the combine, I will um, just pop it on and I will unfold the header which will put it away and I will whip this round and I will just get it started first waypoint drive the course so there he goes straight into action Obviously with this bigger header as well, it shouldn't take too long to do this field and the next one. So I'll just jump out and let him run. And we will go and get the Massey from the shop. We'll go and get a little case round baler. So we've got a hay bale sorted already. So we can get a bit of straw now. We're very close to being able to buy our horses. I think it's not a bad crop of straw, so... Um, there could be more bales here than we actually need. We'll soon find out. But we'll just run this for a bit. So first alert that the combine is ready for an unload. Um, we are making some good progress in here. We've got a lot of bales. So we already had half a load in here. So what we'll do is we'll just go and grab this from the combine and let him carry on his merry way. Be interesting to see how much of the field he's done actually. Uh, looks like he's done a couple of headlands. Maybe he's about halfway through his third headland. I shut the gate, didn't I? Thinking this won't quite fill our trailer. I'm just trying to remember. Don't think it'll quite fill our trailer. We're also going to have to run with him as well. He's not going to wait for us to unload. We'll have to drive alongside him. So we shall do that. Obviously, get out of his way on the turns.
We've got another full load in here, which we will get rid of straight away. Just keep out of his way while he's reversing. No, I am just going to do a double check that the prices are all still good before we go too much further. Soybeans, Fisherman's Pub is still the best bet. I'm still going to get the most from there, so just go and drop these straight off. That's another £20,000. Thank you very much. Okay, we'll just drop this guy back in the field and then we'll jump back to the bailer. Combine's doing well. Not sure we'll get another full load out of here, but we've got field three just sitting next to us. So I would, I'm going to predict another maybe two full grains, so another 40,000 from these two fields, which will take us over the 100,000 again. Okay, dokie. So we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rows still to go. And we are flying along here pretty quick. So it's not going to take us long to grab these. Get them done. And then we're going to... just going to have to make a decision, actually. How many of these do we want to keep? And how many we want to sell? Go. Perfect timing. Just as we're about to finish this last row, the uh, combine is ready to be unloaded again. And he's not made it to the end of the field, so that's interesting. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I've left a few bits there, but that is not bad. And that, not being funny. Look at the amount of bales on that field, that's ridiculous. Anyway, great stuff. Oh, look how close he is to finishing the field. Is he on his last pass here? This could be, this could be interesting. I mean, there are a few bits that I want to run around and grab at the end, but uh, yeah, he really is. Just getting the last, getting the last row in. So, still not complaining. So let's get this in. We'll shift the combine to the next field, and he can carry on going. And then we'll go and get some of those bales. Kind of hoping. Um, oh, he's left some tiny bits left. He's going to do another. Going to do another pass for that. No, he's going to unload first. We'll get about eighty percent of a trailer in here. Eighty-four percent of a trailer. It's possible with those bits and that rather large clump down by the gate. We might get a full load in here. What I'm probably going to do is just unload. This is so much, so close to a full load now that there's no point in me taking this next to the next field with this much in the trailer. So I will. Uh, guessing he's going to just stop here. He may run to the end of the row. There won't be much in here, another couple of percent only. Yep, 
There's a trigger endpoint. The dirt modelling on these uh, combines is phenomenal. Such a good job done on them. Okay. Last field of harvest. Looks good to me. Drive the course. And away he goes. Okay. Need to shut that gate. The only reason being combine will clatter into it and we don't want that. Okay, let's grab this trailer load. Let's get it unloaded. Just a little bit less than 100%. See how much we get here. Over 80 grand. Oh, not bad at all. 86,000 in the bank now. Loving it. So let's hook this up. Let's go and get some bales. See how much money we can make from them. But also then where we're going to keep them. For the horses. Just grab this last one now. There we go. We've got a full load of hay, a full load of straw up at the farm, and we have got enough here to think we could squeeze this into the shed next to the to the oats. Might be able to um, get down the side. Do you know what? We're going to try it. What's the worst going to happen? We have to move them all out. That's no big deal. Okay, the trailer just tucked out of the way there. Um, this looks alright. Grain down the bottom, bales there, and we can always go and get more from the other farm if we run out. Let's go and unload that combine. Well, it doesn't have masses to go. So we'll one more trailer full, I think. Maybe one and a bit more trailer fulls. I learned my lesson um, in the last field. I'm not going to bother and go and get these bits at the edge. I think I'll just leave those for the for the plow or the drill. Skim to unload. Is 
There we go. Another twenty percent of a load. He'll just cut that a little bit there, I believe, and then he will lift the header. And just there's probably only three passes left here. So I think we might just have this one load from this field and that's it. Just park here slightly out of his way. And while he finishes this last little bit, have a look at the little skid steer. Oh, they're not cheap, are they? I was kind of hoping they would be a little bit uh, cheaper than that. Just remind myself what I own. Anything I can sell? Not really. Pretty uh, compact. And on the lease side, yep, just the combine and the baler. Do you know what? We need to do this. We do need to do this. Let's get this little guy. Shall we? Three hundred and fifty pounds to lease. Let's lease it. Let's just be just be a bit more sensible. We would cover the cost on that. Right, skid steer. We need a bale spear and we need a bucket. Here we go. Never used one of these before. Use the Moe side panel. Oh. It's just as you were. Okay. So we bought a little skid steer, here it is. Now we are just running this back to the yard. Uh, we've already taken the bucket back and it does fit down the side of the bale, so that's a winner. So we are just going to run this back to the yard, dump it, and the combine needs unloading one last time. So we'll go and do that, uh, return the combine to the shop so we're not paying any more than we need for it. And then uh, sell our last bit of grain and then we'll decide what we're going to do next. Now in an ideal world, no, it's not going to happen. Just a tiny bit left in the combine. Typical. Okay. Well, it's a good job that the grain cell point is so close. Eighteen thousand. Price has gone down. Right, let's get this last little bit out of the combine. Just push us over. Push us over a hundred thousand would be nice. Nice round number. Thirteen hundred pounds, that'll do. So there we go, another harvest done here on Purbeck Valley. We have just invested in four rather beautiful horses. Look at this. Look how fab these are. Stunning. Stunning animals. They will need some hay, so let's grab them some hay and some straw. We only have the one hay bale at the moment, so... There we go, it's taken the whole hay bale. Hope that's enough.
get them a nice big bucket full of oats. I don't know how many of these they'll need. Let's check our animals. They need a lot more hay and straw and oats. So, we'll be here a little while. So, bear with us. Well, we get these things fed up. may need a second bale. It's covering the floor nicely. I think we might actually not need the whole... we don't need the whole bale. Fantastic. So all it needs now is for us to start exercising them. I'm asking you guys what I should do next. Do we go full grass farm? Do we stay with the cereal crops? Clearly we're going to need some more oats for these horses at some point, relatively quickly. So how do we manage that? And, uh, well, nothing more to say really. Over to you guys. So thanks for watching as always. It's always appreciated. If you haven't subscribed yet but you love the content, please hit that button. Every subscribe helps me and the channel grow and allows us to do more interesting stuff. So. I'd really appreciate it if you can hit that subscribe button if you want to. And other than that, I think it's just a case of me saying to you, thanks for watching. As always, I'm the Farm Sim Guy, and I'll see you all again very soon. <laughs>